Hi bot guys, welcome back. Thank you for viewing my YouTube channel. My name is Tawanda and I love to create and my friends call me Tutu. <laughs> I said it out of order. <laughs> I am very like out of practice so you have to please mind these first two, three videos that I'm doing because um, I took the hiatus for like a couple months. So okay, so the next thing um, we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do your letters, your heat and bond like uh, I guess design for the back of your jacket. So you would need to buy Heat and Bond. You see that Heat and Bond Light is what I use. Now they do sell a Heat and Bond stretch, but you don't really need a stretch with this fabric unless you're unless um, you're going for a, you're making a bomber that has like stretch in the jacket that you want. Okay. So first things first, you're going to get your design that you made. So here I'm just gonna just do a letter. I'm gonna do the uh, letter A. Okay, so first you need your heat source. I mean, <laughs> your light source. <laughs> okay, so your light source is, uh, you're gonna put your design on top of your light source. Then you're gonna take a piece of the heat and bond and you're gonna trace it on the paper side of the heat and bond. So the side that has the word heat and bond on it, that's what you're gonna trace um, it on. So you'll trace your design on it. I've already done it, <laughs> I've already done it. So, but yeah, so you'll trace it on there. And then um, you will then take your iron. You can use an ironing board or the thing that I have that I really like is this ironing pad like this. It has like that uh, reflective or that fabric that holds heat really well. Um, and like um, foam on the back. And it's really good to have um, if you don't want like that hard like um, surface of like an iron board. Because sometimes when you're ironing, you get those hard like shiny pieces of um, like on the fabric and stuff. That's because there's not enough cushion under it to help absorb it. So we're going to, um, I've already did that. <laughs> so oh, important thing is when you're ironing it, make sure um, you use a um, scrap piece of like muslin, or you can even use like clean tracing paper or like a clean sheet of copier paper as and that what that does is for me that helps uh, it's a layer to protect the uh, fabric from like the heat like an extra layer so once you've already um, ironed it to the one side then what you're going to do is like with this you're going to trace you're going to cut it out okay so I did the rest of them already. So this is the A, I'm gonna show you how to iron it on to uh, the fabric. All right. So this here is my Y. It's the beginning of Yudis name, Y-U-T, and then the A, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And the stitch that you're gonna use is this. So it's a pretty small zigzag stitch. And you're, you're gonna use that stitch after you place the letter on and then ironed it in a place. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Let me just move some stuff around. Okay, light source. To give a little bit more space. All right, so it's getting a little, no, eh, that's not too dark in here yet. Well, it's a little dark for me for seeing, so I'm gonna turn on the light. All right. <laughs> and I forgot to unplug the light to use the lighting source. <laughs> Give me a moment.
Okay, let there be light. <laughs> All right, so now what we have here is, um, let me just make another mention of something. So you see here, there is, let me turn, ugh, the lighting source in this room is weird. All right. So you'll see here that I uh, went ahead and marked down the front a line with, uh, with some thread, with basting thread. The reason I did that is because I'm a perfectionist in my work and I wanted to make sure that all the letters are going to get lined up perfectly in, um, in position down the front. So I did use my transparent clear uh, plastic quilting ruler to do all of my um, measurement stuff. It's a really good ruler to have because you can see through it. And you see your like your design underneath to make sure that it lines up good. So first, um, after I did that, I measured out everything, my placement, to make sure that you know everything is good and even. So then now we're going to iron on the A. All right. Okay. So now with the placement of that, so I'm sorry. After I'm, I am so sorry, I'm like jumping all over the place. <laughs> okay, so after you have ironed it on the heat and bond to the fabric, cut it out. You're gonna peel off the white fabric on the back. And then on the other side, it should be a shiny like that. And that means that your the glue, the heat and bond has stuck to the fabric successfully. If you can pull it off, pull off that white paper and it looks like that shiny. Okay, so now we're gonna go with placement of the letter. That's very important that you place it because once you uh, you place it correctly, because once you iron it down, that's it. And there's no going back. You're gonna have to start all the way over from scratch if you did not place it in the right spot. So that's why I like to use the ruler to make sure that everything is neat on the fabric. All right, so let's see. Okay. All right, let's, I'm just making sure that this looks straight to me. Now I'm making sure that always account for about half an inch of seam allowance. So don't bring your design all the way to the edge because otherwise when you put the jacket together, it's going to get uh, sewn into the seam and it's gonna look a little weird. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm not too happy about, uh, I'm gonna take that back. There's mistakes on this jacket that I made, but there are mistakes that only I would know because there's things that are off by like millimeter or two that I know, but you know, normal people aren't even paying attention or even see that. Okay, so let me just, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's very important. I, I would stress that again, that before you iron this on, that you like the placement that is in. Because otherwise I would have to start all over again and I don't want to do that. All right, so I think that looks pretty straight, huh? Well, <laughs> we're gonna pray that it is straight because it looks straight to me. All right. Let me just do a couple more figuring out the measurements and let me eyeball it. Make sure it's in a good spot. Okay, let me get the iron. Oh, and the important thing about the iron is to make sure that it is not with steam on it and you're on a, like a medium setting, nothing too hot um, or too, I guess, warm on the sense for um, it to adhere. Now, how you, um, after you do your placement, sorry, get the cassette, you have to excuse me. This is like, 
it's hard like getting back into recording properly but they're gonna get better i promise so okay um next <laughs> is i need to get fabric to cover up my a before i iron it on because otherwise the a is going to melt to my iron and on my beautiful front of my jacket which i do not want all right so give me a second let me go step off and get some uh scrap fabric cotton important if you look at if you don't have uh you use like i said clean tracing paper clean copier paper or um you can even use a pillowcase that will work as well or a bed sheet just anything made out of cotton that uh doesn't burn easily all right okay so i have my scrap piece of fabric <laughs> oh trusty here once again i just double check everything to make sure that it is perfectly lined up and that I like the placement of my A. And here's go nothing. We're gonna put that down. And then instead of rubbing it back and forth, I'm gonna just rest it down on top of the A. You can rub it a little bit, but don't use like a lot of heavy handed force. You do it lightly. That pretty much adhere it really quickly. It's a good thing. All right. So there you go. It's adhered on there. And now I'm going to sew it on. And um, like I said, you're going to use a, a small zigzag that's kind of wide, not too tight, to put the letters on. Okay. So, um, thank you for viewing. And then my next video, um, I'm going to show you my back. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to show you the back right now. We'll just do it like that. Yeah, I'll show you my back that I completed. Which is this. Okay, so this here, let me move that out of the way so you can see it better, is what my back looks like. So I used all the fabrics I told you about. I incorporated it into uh, making this. Now the gold things you're wondering what this is, these are actually the pockets. So like I mentioned before, I've uh, already did some preliminary work to make these videos quick. So yeah, so with uh, the back, okay, that's how that is. And what I like to do is put uh, before, especially when you're gonna do this amount of sewing on fabric, put like an interfacing on the back to um, help keep everything smooth, like the stitching smooth and things. I didn't use it for this because it wasn't that much of like things that I was stitching on. Like the detail wasn't that great as what this is because there's like stitching on top of stitching on top of stitching like here and things like that. So that's why I use interfacing. So you see it like that. But yeah, I was trying to peel it off, but I didn't successfully peel it all off. <laughs> so don't worry, no one's gonna see that because it's gonna be on the inside of the jacket. All right, well, thank you guys for viewing for right now. Uh, next thing is going to be, I'm going to show you guys how to make, let's see, how to make the pocket and join the front and back together. Okay. Until next time. Bye.